I gotta, I gotta finish the story I was telling last time. So, for those of you who didn't, weren't here last time, Silver August, channel's gone. Don't know what happened. Looked at the video. It turns out he got he got in trouble for doing an underage thing. But so now we're gonna <laughs> look look to the last episode for more details. But I don't know why you'd be watching this episode in like just randomly. But that seems to be happening more often than not. Anywho. So <laughs> Yeah, like frickin', uh, oh my gosh, what's his name? The, the Danny Masterson. I was so pissed when apparently he got accused of that. I don't remember, but it lost him his job on the ranch, in which he was one of the funniest characters. I'm like, no! <laughs> The younger person initiated it. Yes, and Naira did not consent. Okay, alright. So, it was an exact reverse of what people thought initially, which people want to believe the people who come forward first. That's just kind of how it works. Which yeah. makes sense. You yeah. want to believe the accused. But you want to believe the accuser. Sorry. And, um... So, he's back because they actually settled it in court. Oh. Now, Oh no! Yes. <laughs> yes. That's no good. And there are some other Smash people who, like, there was the the second best Smash player in the world. I think Sam Sora deleted his Twitter and doesn't post content anymore mm. because he knew about that whole situation with Nairo, and he didn't <coughs> say anything. Hmm. Yeah. But, uh, the one thing, because, yeah, I know people are more inclined to, but there are some moments where the accuser, or the person who is accusing them can be wrong, but I think it's probably better to stand by a liar than it is, like, a possible, like, offender. Yeah. I see that, yeah. I understand. But, yeah, so, the story I was telling. <laughs> what, where did I leave off at last episode? Silver August, he was in a Zoom chat with a minor. I don't remember how old she was. Not a Zoom chat, a Discord call. He's in a, I don't remember how old. I don't remember how old she was. She was in the upper teens, not 18 yet. I think it was like six, 15 or 16. And allegedly, she was playing with herself while he and he asked her to moan his name. Yeah, allegedly, and apparently like, there's other things like with him talking about how she was. So she's apparently a fan, and things got more serious. And apparently she was like, allegedly she was also gonna kill herself or something, and he was trying to help. There are people who there, there are so many people who can articulate this way better and have done more research than I have, and apparently there's actually like DMs that have been put out. To like settle the matter, I don't remember who. I don't. I'm not exactly sure who is at fault here. However, the um, what I do know is that he is no longer on YouTube, which I'm a little ups, which I am disappointed with because he was one of my faves. Oh yeah. Just like, you know, and nothing secret. I can't like anything anymore. 
<laughs> yeah, right? Oh, yeah. <sighs> At the very least, there are those few individuals who seem like in untarnishable. Uh, examples of which being uh, the ones that come to mind are Mr. Rogers, Bob Ross, Steve Irwin, and the one that's been in my mind most recently, Satoru Iwata. Yeah. Yeah, I, I yeah, I I got his book. Really? Yeah, I got the Ask a Wada book. I haven't read it yet, but I uh, because I've been busy, but I am I am very excited to do so. There's some people out there who are just absolute gems. If we're looking at popular like people in the social media lens right now, Markiplier is one of those like untarnishable gems. Oh yeah. He is a good dude, which I appreciate. Yes, I appreciate that too, because he has a very large audience. Yeah. It's one of the things that I that I often try to do with my content. Like I don't know, I I try to I try to stay as squeaky clean as I can while still speaking my mind. Yeah, Though like uh Caillou. It's too, Chris. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, I made a, I made a, I made a, I made, a, I made an offhand joke because I was trying to think of a porn thing that, that was so, something so innocent that it couldn't possibly exist. It's the fuckheads out there who actually made it a thing. <laughs> Ah, shit! <laughs> Hanson, no! Oh, Here's where you change your clothes. Yeah, I found out about this recently. Oh, really? That is a girl, that is a girl clothes. Or at least more feminine. Yeah, it's got the, like, off-the-shoulder look. I mean, I know some dudes who rock the off-the-shoulder look. But, you oh, know what also I like? You should cosplay as Dan Cuso. This is literally what my what my what my the girlfriend in this game is wearing. Like Saida, I think her name is. Oh yeah. I appreciate this is literally exactly what she's wearing. Ooh, better plan. Like better plan. Let's see what clothes we can buy. Why is your child just like slightly muscular? What do you mean? Exactly, Chris. The 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 um the disc. I don't like that. <laughs> okay, so do you think I should? So do you think I should? Thi no, this is awful. We gotta make him look awful. <laughs> do you think I should theme him to actually look like awful? Be bad, or should I like I just make him look like he's from the '80s? <laughs> Ooh, from the '80s. He does really like you know with that the tank top. He's like super muscular for some reason. So would this be a good pick then? <laughs> Yes. Oh yeah, make him the fittest hair like perfectly. Yes. I mean he's wearing he has pink eyes. Alright, pink shorts, it's done. Pink short shorts. He's an abomination. <laughs> We've done it. And then the shoes. Hang on, let's see what other let's see what else we have here. Nope, that's okay. Oh, that was purple Oh my god. <laughs> Mary what a queen. We can get Mary Jane. <laughs> Should, should they be red? They're not. They're not heels. They're Mary Janes. Oh, yeah, look, uh, look at just look at that, folks. He really is awful, isn't he? He's trying his best. He's living his truth. He's living his best life out here, mm -hmm. which is more than I could say for myself. Exactly. As long as they are happy with how they look. And as long as I, I as long as you don't force me to look at it. <laughs> you can wear whatever you want, as long as you look good in it. 
exactly. Oh my god. I mean, so I had to pick up blue baggy pants for myself. But like... What about the... What about the purple parachute pants? No. <laughs> you want? You want to keep the short shorts? No, that reminds me uh, when uh, whenever we have to do groceries, that you have, it's like, you have to go help us go unload the, tr the trunk or whatever, and you have to grab whatever shoes are available, so I come out in like high heels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all. Do. I usually just go for my dad's loafers. Yeah. Because they were the closest thing to shoes, and they just fit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll steal it! No one will ever know! So what kid do we have to beat up now? Uh, we have to beat up this guy. But first, let's get this kid a soda. That's all, kid. <laughs> the, he, his yeah, kid really needs a soda. Uh -huh. Duke needs a soda. Or not a soda, of like a, I think it's like a like infused water. I infused water. Yeah, I just... <laughs> I just did this quest last night, so I like. I'm pretty confident that I remember where the drink machine is. Sacrifice the Bakugan for this drink. Unless it's like randomized each time, at which point I will be so pissed. All the uh, Baku elements or uh, brands. Get your Aquos brand Wait, what? Of infused water. Hang on a second. <laughs> Let me think. Uh, I think I, maybe it's over here. I know it's a sideways one, which is why I missed it. Oh. I found money in the trash. <laughs> I actually had a kid, uh, uh, there's one person in high school who would throw away loose change. What? Why? <laughs> That's, I think uh, the one person off there were, they were uh, kind of rich. Oh. You know, so they, they uh, really liked uh, just using the credit card, so, or whenever they paid dollar bills, they never liked having loose change. In high school? You can say their name between episodes. We can do that off camera. Yeah. Oh. I can do that off camera where I record it and then I edit it in. <laughs> <laughs> you act like I'm not recording this discard call, Mike. I, I love that, uh, uh, just, I don't want to say their name, but I'm just, so I'm going to say fake names and they just say the name anyway. Well, that's actually smart because then, because then that immediately puts their real name off the table because you said it's fake. <laughs> Did you just call yourself out, Mike? Hashtag cancel Mike. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> I've been ready for it for too long. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's over here. I'm just stupid. <clears throat> no, I, I checked two of them. I knew it was a sideways one. I just checked one front-facing one just for the hell of it. Oh, aquos infused water. What does Aquos taste like? <laughs> if you grind up Preus, you'll find out. And the blood of my enemies? <laughs> no, he, he, so you know how, like... So you, you both watched Avatar, right? Yeah. Last Airbender, yeah. Yeah, do you remember the, uh, the thing where the, the Bloodbender could, like... She pulled water out of plants. Oh, yeah, that? Yeah, someone just did that, but with, like, a whole Bakugan. Oh. <laughs> that episode's actually terrifying. That, yeah, it's really fucked up, honestly. It's a really cool episode. Though. It is. It's one of those things where it really makes you think about the implications of this world, and, like... It's like, okay, so... Firebender is the most basic one, like, how they could kill you. They just burn you alive. The... Everyone everyone else can interact with the human body in some horrifying way. It's like they have, it's an application, like how you use it. That's why I like that. It's not just like, oh, I can do like 50 ability. It's like, I have this one thing, water, what can I do with it? Exactly. She just straight up give you a cat. Uh, yeah, she gave me a, a land, a hydrus. Awesome. Yeah, like if you I think about it too. Like a house cat, like you had to send that to fight. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, like the... Like with, with airbenders, if Aang got angry enough, he could just pull the air out of... If someone that did, like, uh... There, there was an, er, an airbender who just had no morals to them, they could just pull the air out from around someone's head and just suffocate them. Well, he was pretty close when they stole his place. 
<laughs> yeah, you muzzled Appa. <laughs> Eric, did you did you watch Legend of Korra? I have not. Never have I. Oh, okay. do they do they actually do that? Yeah, what the heck is a Korra? Also, we are out of time. So let's see you guys next time. Ooh.